Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine arc length of a function using the TA89 graphing calculator. We'll take a look at several methods for determining arc length, one from the home screen, one from the graphing screen, and then finally using the arc length formula shown here. From the home screen, if we press F3 for the calculus menu, notice number eight is arc length. So if we press eight, we would now enter four X raised to the power of three halves. So four X raised to the power of, in parentheses, three divided by two, comma, the variable X. We went through arc length from X equals two to X equals four. So now we enter comma two, comma four, close parenthesis and enter. Now the calculator is in exact mode. So this would be the exact arc length of this function over the closed interval from two to four. To get the decimal approximation, we would press diamond, enter. This is how we quickly determine arc length from the home screen using the TA89 graphing calculator. Let's also find the arc length from the graphing screen now. So let's begin by graphing the function y equals four times x raised to the power of three halves. So we'll press diamond F1 for y equals. Notice how I've already entered the function here in y1. If I press the up arrow, you can see how I entered the function down here at the bottom. Let's graph this using the standard window by pressing F2 for zoom and six for zoom standard. We want a nice view of this function over the closed interval from two to four, and therefore we'll need to adjust the window. So let's press diamond F2 for window. Let's change the X min to negative two, enter. X max to five, enter. We'll leave the X scale at one, enter. Let's leave the Y min at negative 10, enter. Let's increase the Y max to let's say 80, enter. And we'll change the Y scale to 10, enter. And now let's graph the function by pressing diamond F3. Notice how we have a nice view of the function over the closed interval from two to four, though we could decrease the Y maximum. So let's go ahead and do that before we find the arc length. So I'll press diamond F2. Let's change the Y max to let's say 65 and diamond F3 to graph. Now that we have a nice graph of the function, we'll press F5 for math. We're gonna arrow down and select option B for arc. So we can press B, or because I have B highlighted, we can simply press enter. And now when it asks for the first point, we enter X equals two, so two, enter. And the second point is when X equals four, so we press four, enter. And notice how there's two markers on the function indicating the arc length that we're finding, and it also gives the arc length here at the bottom, approximately 20.7837. And finally, the last method would be to use the arc length formula shown here. Let's go back to the home screen. Using the integration formula, we'll press F3 for the calculus menu, number two for integrate. Now we'll enter the integrand function, which is going to be the square root, so second multiply, and then we have one plus the square of f prime of x, which would be the square of the derivative of four x raised to the power of three halves. So we'll have open parenthesis, and then the derivative, so f3 number one for differentiate, the function four x raised to the power of three halves, comma, the variable x, close parenthesis, so that's for the derivative. We want to square the derivative, so another close parenthesis, raised to the power of two, and the close parenthesis for the square root, comma, the variable of integration, which is x, comma, the limits of integration are from two to four, so two, comma, four, close parenthesis, and enter. And again, we get the exact value of the arc length. We press diamond enter, we get the decimal approximation. So let's record this as approximately 20.7837. So there are several ways to determine arc length on the TA89 graphing calculator.